Lakers have a chance for the break. T-H-T, throw it down! After impressive performances for the Lakers in the preseason, Taylen Horton Tucker became one of the most talked about players in the NBA. In today's video, we'll share 10 things you might not know about the Lakers' rising star. Number 10, LeBron told his agent to recruit him. After dropping 19 points and 8 rebounds in a preseason game against the Clippers before the start of the 2021 season, LeBron tweeted that Taylen is flat out special. But unlike most of us who are just starting to realize it, the King already knew how good Taylen was way before he played in the NBA. LeBron's passion for basketball goes way beyond the NBA, so he often likes to watch high school games as well. And it's on one of those games that he happened to catch Taylen play for the Simeon Academy. LeBron was so impressed by what he saw that he even contacted his agent, Rich Paul, who is now one of the most famous agents in basketball, and told him that he should take a look at this kid named Taylen who plays at Simeon, and possibly try and recruit him. Rich Paul did what any of us would do if LeBron called us to give us some basketball-related advice, and not long after, he became THT's agent as well. Number 9. He went to the same high school as D-Rose and other stars Taylen Horton Tucker hails from Chicago, a city known for its hip-hop and trap culture, among many other things, as well as being a mecca for basketball. Producing a large number of stars including D. Rose, D. Wade, Isaiah Thomas, Anthony Davis, among many others. Chicago's also the city where THT's basketball journey began, as he attended Simeon Academy, one of the most prominent basketball programs in the entire country, where a certain point guard who was the youngest NBA MVP ever used to go not too long ago. Taylen had a very successful career at Simeon, helping them win three consecutive city championships while becoming a four-star college recruit in the process. This earned him scholarship offers from many respectable college programs across the nation, including Illinois and Xavier, and in the end, he committed to play college ball at Iowa State. Number 8. Tony Allen is a big fan Another NBA star that hails from Chicago is Tony Allen, who's known for being one of the best on-ball defenders ever, earning multiple All-Defense honors throughout the 2010s. And in an appearance at the Chris Vernon Show in December of 2020, he had an interesting story to share about Taylen. Allen currently works as a player development coach for the Memphis Hustle in the G League, and he had an opportunity to watch Taylen play firsthand last season when the Hustle faced the South Bay Lakers. During that game, Horton Tucker erupted for 28 points at halftime, and Tony Allen, who didn't even know Taylen was from Chicago at that point, made it known how impressed he was. Taylen was unfazed and he looked Allen straight in the eyes and told him that he doesn't belong here and that he was too good for the G League. He ended that game with 38 points. So when Tony saw him perform at a high level in the preseason a year later, he was not surprised at all. Number 7. He's the youngest player on the Lakers The Lakers are currently the oldest team in the NBA, with an average age of 28.8. So having a young productive player in Taylen Horton Tucker will certainly be of great use when the more experienced guys need some rest. In fact, Taylen is by far the youngest player currently on the Lakers, as he only turned 20 in November 2020, making him three years younger than the second youngest player on the team, Costas Antetokounmpo, who is rarely a part of the main roster. While it may be hard for Taylen to get a lot of playing time ahead of the very good veterans on the team, the experience and knowledge that he'll get by playing with them will be invaluable for his development, as he'll have a chance to learn and spend time with some impressive talents like King James, AD, Marcus Gasol, Wes Matthews, and many others. Number 6. Elementary School Retired His Jersey Taylen Horton Tucker attended St. Matthias Elementary School in his hometown of Chicago, and his formative years as a basketball player were spent right in the school's gym. The school is very proud of what Taylen has been able to accomplish, and they often invite him to attend events, or they show support by sending out kids from the school to some of his games. In one such event, Taylen was invited to participate in the school's alumni versus parents game in March 2018, and as you'd expect, he led the alumni to a comfortable win, throwing down 10 dunks in the process. The main highlight of the day, however, was what happened prior to the game. Earlier in the day, the school decided to retire Horton Tucker's number 5 jersey in a ceremony which saw them lift his jersey into the school gym rafters, surely one of the proudest moments of Taylen's young life. After a few good games of the preseason, Taylen is already hailed as the next great thing in the NBA. Do you think that hype is justified, or do we need to wait a bit more to make that conclusion? Let us know in the comments! Number 5. He Became Famous Overnight Taylen Horton Tucker was a relatively unknown player for most NBA fans until recently. He was a late second round pick in 2019 and could not secure a regular spot on the Lakers' loaded roster. So when Taylen became the 2021 preseason's brightest star, Lakers fans and other fans throughout the league were left wondering where this guy came from. His popularity quickly grew, especially after a series of memes started appearing about how he was going to get all of Kyle Kuzma's minutes and a few other funny anecdotes. This went on for a couple of weeks, and at a few points in time he even became the most talked about player in the league, with many famous social media outlets mentioning him non-stop. 
Talon's play not only made him famous among fans, though, but with his teammates and coaches as well. And Frank Vogel said that he'll have to start looking at ways to involve Talon a lot more during the regular season. Number 4. Talon has an outrageous wingspan. THT's skill set is not the only thing that's impressive about him, as he also has an NBA ready body, standing at 6 foot 4 inches tall and measuring right around 230 pounds. That's definitely a really good size for a two guard, but wait until you hear the crazy part, and that's Talon's wingspan. He has an incredible 7 foot 1 wingspan which is a 9-inch difference between his height and wingspan, the second highest margin in the league, only behind the freakishly built Orlando Magic Center Mo Bamba, who is 7 feet tall with a 7 foot 10 wingspan. Wingspan is one of the most important attributes that scouts look for in a young player, as it allows them to be more effective on defense, be it stealing passes or blocking shots, as well as grab more rebounds and easily shoot over defenders. All of these skill sets that are very evident in Talon's game, as even though he's only 6'4", he possesses a great ability to shoot over taller defenders. He also grabs a good amount of rebounds, and his potential on the defensive end of the court is even more exciting. Number 3. He played great in the G League while there was no doubt that the Lakers knew they had a very talented player in Talon as soon as they drafted him, they simply couldn't incorporate him into the team's rotation ahead of all the veterans on the roster. Talon appeared in only 8 NBA games in his rookie year, but he did receive a bigger role in the bubble with the absence of Avery Bradley, where he appeared in two playoff games in which he played great in very limited minutes. However, Talon made the biggest mark in the G League in his rookie season, where he was one of the best players on the South Bay Lakers. Despite struggling to adjust to the professional level in the first few months of the season, Talon picked it up after December and ended the season averaging 18 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1.5 steals across 38 G League appearances. He also had multiple 30-point outbursts, and this impressive play earned him a spot on the main Lakers roster for the Orlando bubble. Number 2. Second Youngest NBA Champion When the Lakers won the NBA championship in the summer of 2020, they joined the Boston Celtics as the joint record holders for the most title wins with 17. With the win, Talon Horton Tucker also became the second youngest champion in NBA history, only behind Darko Milicic, who also won the chip in his rookie year with the Detroit Pistons, but was a year younger than Talon, who won it being just 19 years and 11 months old. Unfortunately, that ring was the only one that Darko was able to win in what was a very disappointing NBA career for the former number 2 pick. But Talon seems to be destined to win at least a few more, especially with guys like LeBron James and Anthony Davis playing on his team. It's still early to say, but the Lakers are surely one of the favorites for the title. But even after LeBron James retires, Talon will have plenty of time to add to his collection of NBA rings. Number 1. Kawhi Couldn't Believe He's Only 20 if you get Kawhi to talk about you, then you know you're something special. And that was exactly what Horton Tucker was able to do with his amazing performance against the Clippers in the preseason. Talon ended that game with 33 points, but it was what happened during the game that we'd like to talk about. Apparently, Kawhi was so impressed with what Talon was doing in that game that he approached Wesley Matthews, one of the latest additions to the Lakers, to ask him how old Talon was. Being new to the team, Matthews himself didn't know the answer to that question, so he asked Talon how old he was. When he replied that he just turned 20, both Wes and Kawhi, and especially Kawhi, were in awe at how maturely he played for his age. Matthew shared the story after the game, and it definitely gives us hope that Kawhi is one of us, not sent here by aliens to infiltrate the humankind. Do you think that Talon Horton Tucker can become an all-star one day? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more NBA content.